So in this video, we're going to talk about finishing, traditional finishing. And I'm going to take one of my unbreakable bottle openers, right? So it's a custom design I came up with a few years ago. And I'm going to heat it up with a torch here, just to the point where it'll melt beeswax. Or you can use oil. So what you're doing is taking the torch and running it across the piece. You don't want to get it even cherry red. So just hot enough that once you apply an oil or a beeswax to it, that will melt on contact and seal, seal it in. And it's the beginnings of summer here or late spring, so the outside temperature is in the mid-60s. It doesn't take very long for this to heat up. In winter time, it'll take a bit longer because your, your air temperature is a lot colder. Okay, I'm going to cut away and then I'll do a close-up of the beeswax being applied. Okay, so we've got our unbreakable bottle opener. It's been heated up with the torch. And now I'm going to apply some beeswax to it. You can see it kind of smoke up. That means we got it nice and hot and the beeswax is melting. That's what we want. Okay, we'll get it coated. We use gravity to your advantage. All right, and then to make sure I got all the little nooks and crannies, I'm going to do one more pass with the torch so I can melt that beeswax down into those spots that I might have missed. Okay, once you have that set, you're just going to wipe it down with an old shop cloth or a t shirt, and you'll be all set. It'll be ready for use once it's cooled down. You definitely want to wait for it to cool down. So a faster way to finish steel than the torch method that I showed you. Get an old $4 toaster oven if you can find it at Goodwill. Load it up with however many projects you've done. Turn that thing up to 500. Bake it for about 4 or 5 minutes. And you pull them out. They're ready to go. The beeswax melts immediately. You wipe them down. Move on to the next one. So it's much faster.